through other serious issues, particularly the very painful early years of HIV AIDS when people talk about conspiracy theories. Um, you will always have conspiracy theories when you have uh, very challenging public health crises. They are nothing but distractions. You know, I can assure you we have so much to do to protect the health and the welfare of the American people that I would just hope we just put those conspiracy stuff and let somebody write a book about it later on, but not now. Anthony Fauci does not like conspiracy theories. And if the president does not fire several members of his COVID-19 response team, the books written in the future will likely be about the Bill Gates Big Pharma takeover of America. Dr. Fauci is on the leadership council for the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Deborah Birx is a board member for the Global Fund to Fight AIDS, Tuberculosis, and Malaria, which was founded by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Robert Redfield, current director of the CDC, was a founder of the Institute of Human Virology, who has received $31.8 million from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Seema Verna has worked with Sue Desmond Hellman, Chief Executive Officer of the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Alex Azar was president of Eli Lilly's U.S. division. Under his leadership, prices for the company's top-selling insulin drug tripled, which led to a class action lawsuit. Jerome Adams received a medical scholarship from Eli Lilly. Stephen Hahn is commissioner for the FDA, who partnered with Bill and Melinda Gates in 2017. Stephen Mnuchin was a member of Skull and Bones at Yale University, and he partnered with George Soros to create SFM Capital Management. Brett Giroir was the director of DARPA, and CDC official Dr. Nancy Messonier is Rod Rosenstein's sister. Many have been concerned that President Trump has been surrounded by deep state operatives for the past three years. Well, now he seems to be completely surrounded by Big Pharma and Bill Gates loyalists, all pushing vaccines as the solution and admitting that they might make things worse. Does the vaccine make you worse? And there are diseases in which you vaccinate someone, they get infected with what you're trying to protect them with, and you actually enhance the infection. Los Angeles has announced that they're going to pay people to snitch on their neighbors. You know the old expression about snitches? Well, in this case, snitches get rewards. We want to thank you for turning folks in and making sure we are all safe. And the public is now being prepared for mandatory certificates of immunity in order to freely leave their homes. Can you imagine a time where Americans carry certificates of immunity? You know, um, uh, th that's possible. I mean, uh, it, it's one of those things that we talk about uh, when we want to make sure that we know who the vulnerable people are and not. Uh, this is something that's being discussed. I think it might actually be have some merit under certain circumstances.